Hello, this is Bronwyn Ailey, local food systems and small farms educator for University of Illinois Extension. And I'm bringing you my fourth weekly update from the Dixon Springs Ag Center. And we're gonna talk about uh, some things that have happened in the last week in the high tunnels here. I'm uh, still continuing to social distance. And so you're still having to watch my video skills. And um, it's a beautiful Friday. Yesterday was kind of cloudy and and rained on and off and a, a dreary day and so we're I'm really glad to see the sunshine today and feels like a nice spring day so I'll just briefly show you the uh, the growth on our determinant tomatoes that were set out in the tunnel on um, April the 3rd so today's now the 24th so they've been in the ground about three weeks and as you can see they are their leaves are almost touching each side of the of the raised bed and these are about oh 21 22 inches wide so we're getting uh close to a two foot span on these leaves on on some of these individual plants so they're they're really growing well and like to see that and our bell pepper spacing study the plants are starting to green up and put on some new leaves And this far, far row with the, uh, the tomatoes that we're still not sure what's going on. I think today they will probably get fertilized with a little bit more starter fertilizer just to see if that can help spur them on. They did receive starter fertilizer on February the 3rd when I, when I planted them. I'm still scratching my head trying to figure out what's different in this row than the other rows. And so I think we'll try to put a little bit more fertilizer to them and see if we can't get them to jump. As you can see, it's uh, about, oh, it's about 10 o'clock, 10, 10, 15 today, and I already have the uh, sides vented. Um, it's it's nice sunny day in here today, and it's really going to warm up. So I want to make sure we keep the sides vented, get good airflow into these plants. In the hydroponic tunnel, we have the tomatoes, indeterminate tomatoes and peppers planted, as well as cucumbers and green beans were planted in these other two rows this week. So you can see all of our buckets now are full. And you hear the clicking in the background. That is the irrigation system coming on and providing providing water through these point source emitters. I'll come down here and look at these plants, these tomato plants. If you'll notice in this row, I'm gonna scan up really slow, we have started clipping these plants to the, the string trellis system that we'll have set up here. And these are the spools that we use. As you can see, we've got a this metal hook will attach over the rebar that's suspended in the rafter, the trellis. And I think we're using half inch rebar here. And this spool, when we squeeze here, it allows the string to to uh, spool out. And this is really challenging to do with one hand and hold the, the camera for videoing. But these clip over the top of the rebar, you release the string, uh, unwind the spool, the string comes down from the ceiling down to the level of the plant. And then we will take these clips. If you see this clip, In the, uh, in the hinge right here, we're going to want to catch the string in this. And then this circle will go around the stem of the plant and then it snaps together. And by catching the string in this hinge, it, can, it will grasp the string tightly. And so if we look at this plant, 
the string is pinched tightly here, but you can see the, the clip itself is loose around the stem of the plant. And right now these strings aren't super tight because when the plants are this small, there's not enough weight to really pull down and, and pull tension on the string, but this is just enough to keep the plant in place um, as it's continuing to grow. And in our system, instead of continuing to release more string out of the spool and move the spool down the, the row, we actually just leave the strings in place and we will add, as the plant grows, we will add additional clips uh, to the string and around the plant. And we usually try to keep about two to three clips per plant on each string. And as the plant is growing up and we are placing our third clip up higher, we will remove the bottom clip. And so instead of lowering the string, eventually we will end up lowering the plant. And we found that that is a more efficient system in our tunnel and for us to utilize. We'll pan over here and get a little closer look at the cucumbers. When these were planted at the first of the week, uh, most of them had one good strong true leaf coming out and the, just the tip of the second true leaf had started to, started to emerge. And now we're seeing most of the plants have two true leaves out and these cucumbers are going to grow pretty fast in this system and we'll be trellising them the same way that we do the tomatoes and we will come over here to the strawberry stacks as you can see they are continuing to progress We have green fruit, we have ripening fruit, we have some ripe fruit. And I apologize, now the fans are gonna kick on because it's above 80 degrees in this tunnel now and with our, we have our thermostat set to uh, open and close our louvers and our exhaust fan and we have it set on about 80 degrees. So once the, once it reads above 80 degrees, then our fans and louvers kick on and open up and help to vent this this tunnel so that's what i have to update for this week and hope you guys have a good week and take care